Fathom is changing the way products are designed and manufactured by helping designers and engineers think differently. In this online video series, What Can You Fathom? Learn about advanced technologies, proven methodologies, and state-of-the-art production centers from Fathom experts who make the unmakeable every day. Hi, I'm Carlo Quinones. Today we're going to be talking about reaction injection molding system that we've developed here. So this tool that we developed is used to make the consumable portion of an automated system for testing the toxicity of potential new drugs in zebrafish embryos. So in addition to the molds itself, the system includes fixtures that uh, are necessary to orient and hold the, the mold in the right configuration so that it can be uh, reliably used to produce silicone devices. The mold halves were printed out in PolyJet on an object printer because the resolution was critical and we needed the highest resolution possible for the, the tool. The rest of the fixture, the parts that hold the mold and hold the resin, uh, were printed out on a Fortis machine which uses a different process, FDM, where uh, the resolution isn't as, uh, as good as it is an object, but the mechanical properties are much better. This tool system has two primary advantages. One is it improves accessibility, the reproducibility of this process. By allowing scientists to share the tools for doing these science experiments electronically, because now we can share the geometry, it can be easily reproduced at the destination, it uh, greatly improves. Uh, the accessibility of these kinds of sophisticated uh, techniques uh, to a broader range of users than was previously possible. A uh, second advantage to, the, to implementing this 3D printable tool system is the speed and iteration. Right? This now allows scientists that have access to a 3D printer in their labs to make changes to the design of, the, of this automated device uh, in the morning, print them the molds over lunch, and then try uh, casting devices at the end of the day. And so being able to shorten that design time, whereas previously it took a week or more to iterate on the designs of these uh, uh, laboratory automation devices, uh, they're not able to do it on a day-to-day -day basis. Thanks again for joining us for this edition of What Can You Fathom? For more information on what's happening at Fathom, please join us online at studiofathom.com or check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter.